Hello everybody. We're in Andorra and we're here for the 70.3 because I'm racing tomorrow. I decided that I was going to race yesterday against sort of, I don't know, common logic. I've been a bit sick for the past couple of weeks battling with something. Had a pretty terrible race in Huatulco and Montreal. Yeah, definitely wrote this one off and then I thought it could go all right. I've been on medication all week. You know, you never know how you pull up, but I'm never going to find that out sitting on the couch. It could be a good day. It could be a bad day. I know Andorra well. It's a cool course. Also, there's a reality that I don't have a 70.3 world slot yet that I need to get. Oh, I mean, it's the last day tomorrow of the cutoff, so I was never going to get it if I didn't race. So I thought I might as well, you know, roll the dice and go for it really. So we just got to Jan's, we're gonna go for a run now. I'm gonna drop my bike off with Jens, the canyon mechanic. Just give it a once over and then uh, yeah, go for a run, go for a swim and then ride the course. Uh, it's one of the courses that's kind of like essential to ride because of the gnarly nature of the course. Full sand, full race. You guys are living your best life. Living your dream. Woo! You ready, Kyle? Yeah. Oh, I'm already signing autographs. We haven't, we haven't even started running yet. We're now the house a minute. <laughs> How long is your run today? Uh, 40 minutes. <laughs> really relaxed like I don't know because we I don't know because I guess we really train here and it's kind of like a second home it sort of like doesn't really feel like we're racing but which is cool I guess just a savage day tomorrow si sí, a mañana tenemos competición y los niños aquí instagramer sabe my gosh he's fast I know the course super well I've done the yeah I've done the course multiple times and always train around these roads so it's pretty cool to be here uh, today we just did um, a swim, bike and run, um, rode the course, did a run up at the lake and swam in the pool. Yeah, felt okay and so yeah, roll on tomorrow. It's crazy man. <laughs> what a logic. So what's going on here, Kai? He's written instructions to himself to go easy on the downhill. <laughs> and hard on the uphill. <laughs> Groundbreaking. So smart. You know what? I was going to do the opposite until I saw that. I'm so glad that I've seen this information. Day done. Feed up and sleep for race day. Just gotta set up all my stuff for so transition and then do some warm up. I'm not allowed in there. No, you're not allowed, you know. Only special people. Only people with a wristband. What are you doing now, Kyle? Going for a jog, warm up, hour to the race. Yeah, pretty, pretty chilled. Uh, um, Pretty chilled atmosphere actually, which is quite nice.
came out of the water sort of 45 seconds down in Jonas with uh, the group of us with Jan and I think um, Anthony was in there too. So yeah, and then got on the bike, had a good first descent down the hill um, and then started getting into my rhythm and I felt really good. Um, was sort of pushing, yeah, what I wanted to push pretty conservatively, um, sort of mid 300s going up the climb. And my heart rate was pretty low. Everything was feeling pretty good. My perceived effort was actually quite low for the first lap and that was the game plan. Um, and then I came off the descent with Jan and um, yeah, started the second lap. And again, I kind of got into a rhythm and felt okay. And then literally all of a sudden within a kilometer, like um, I just started going really quite lightheaded. So Kyle is not on the tracker. We'll see where he is. obviously not great it was a super weird one really like uh, I guess it's just a continuation of what was happening over the past couple of weeks yeah I went fully hyperglycemic and fully dizzy um, yeah and then made it to the aid station fully sort of almost incoherent and um, yeah I pulled out at the aid station I sat down on the side of the road for maybe half an hour just to try and get my blood sugar back up. I had a, uh, one of the medics took a, um, blood sugar reading and it was really low. So I had three Gatorades and three power bar things, um, just to try and get my blood sugar back up enough. And yeah, and then I, I did, I rolled back down to here and I had obviously no way of contacting anyone. So I came back to the hotel and just sort of sat here until the race was over and until Kira came back and found me. Um, so yeah, like obviously very disappointed, but yeah, it was going to be a gamble coming to race and yeah, I was living on a prayer kind of thing, you know, like, um, just trying to be positive and almost sort of like manifest yourself into having a good race or believing that you're capable of sort of doing it against, you know, I guess health, but. So yeah, get the health sorted and then hopefully, I guess, kind of start from scratch almost um, and see what race will be next. But obviously with not finishing this race, there's no 70.3 Worlds qualification. So that's off the cards. And yeah, I'm not sure about the US Open. So we'll see, keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm actually not feeling too bitter about it because I knew that it was a gamble coming here and, and anything other than sort of like a bad day would have been a bonus and obviously that was kind of yeah I'm not too bitter about pulling out because I knew that was going to be one of the options on the card so yeah but yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully the next video will be a lot more positive than this uh negative sandwich of a race that we had but uh yeah thanks for watching thank you for supporting and we'll see you in the next one bye